This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 16, Functions with Return Values, Puzzle 3, Using Functions That Return Values. This is so important to coding and it's going to help us do some awesome stuff. I'm excited. We have used functions that return values many times before. Yep. But in this exercise, you will see how they are actually created by using the return command. The function minval accepts two numbers as an input and returns the minimum of the two as an output. You can call this function just like any other. And because it returns a number, you can treat the function call as if it were a number. And that's important. You'll see why. Do this. Starter code has been provided that creates a function minval and generates two random values. Inspect the code of minval to understand the logic of this function. On the council log line, call the function using rand1 and rand2 as parameters and ensure the minimum value is returned. You should treat the function call as if it were a number. Okay, so again, on the council log line, call rand1 and rand2 and ensure the minimum value is returned. So we just want to add, right, the numbers are shown, minval rand1, comma, rand2, which are the names of these two arrays, and then let's go ahead and see what this does. Great, so we got it. Let's hit minimum value between 39 and 26. Perfect. Cool. And so this is returning, this function's giving back to us what minimum, which is the minimum. So, uh, awesome. We're going to get more into this as we go. I'm going to hit finish. Let's keep going.